According to Reuters, Panasonic has taken the next step towards producing 4680 batteries for Tesla and mass production could happen as soon as next year. Let's dive into the details. I'm John and welcome to CleanerWatt. As reported by Reuters back in late 2020, Shortly after Tesla revealed their next generation 4680 cylindrical batteries, Panasonic announced that they were also going to build 4680 batteries for Tesla in their own factories. Now, according to this June 1st, 2022 Reuters article, Panasonic has officially sent over samples of 4680 batteries that they manufactured over to Tesla. I'm assuming that Tesla is going to use these Panasonic made 4680 batteries for internal testing before Panasonic starts mass production. And this is a really big deal. Here are a few key quotes from this Reuters article from June 1st. Panasonic Holdings Corp, which makes batteries for Tesla, said on Wednesday it had shipped samples of its more powerful 4680 format electric car battery to the US electric vehicle maker as it prepares for a surge in North American power pack production. So obviously Panasonic delivering these samples is a really good sign, but when is mass production supposed to be happening for these batteries? Well, according to this Reuters article, Panasonic is planning to begin mass production of these 4680 batteries in Japan sometime next year after March of 2023, which marks the beginning of their new fiscal year. However, this article also mentioned that Panasonic plans to move production of these batteries to the US in the future. When it comes to where these Panasonic battery factories could land in the US, according to this Reuters article, once again, quote, the Japanese conglomerate is looking at potential factory sites in Kansas and Oklahoma that would supply the Tesla plant in Texas. Now, in just a minute, I'll dive into why this is a big deal, but I wanna talk about some key takeaways from what we learned in this Reuters article. First of all, with mass production happening as early as March of 2023, this is going to be huge because Tesla is planning to start manufacturing the Cybertruck in 2023 next year. And the Cybertruck's going to have a big battery pack. If it's going to offer a 500 mile range version like when they first launched it, that's going to take a lot of batteries, as we've seen with Ford's F-150 Lightning and the Rivian R1T. In order to move a heavy truck and to go long distances, you need a large battery pack, even if that truck is very efficient, like I expect the Cybertruck to be. And so Tesla is going to need a lot of batteries. We'll talk in a minute about Tesla's uh, current factories and how many batteries they're able to produce there and where they're moving in the future with those factories. And we'll talk about how many vehicles they could produce with that capacity. But suffice it to say for now, before we dive into those details, Tesla needs as many batteries as possible, especially as they start ramping up a new vehicle like the Cybertruck, obviously the Model Y 2.0 right now with the standard range all wheel drive um, version being manufactured at Gigafactory Texas um, with 4680 batteries. That's gonna be ramping up and hopefully a longer range version with 4680 batteries of the Model Y 2.0 as well. And then of course you have the semi, the Tesla semi takes a lot of batteries. And so if Tesla is going to get um, 4680 batteries manufactured by Panasonic, if they're going to be able to buy these initially from their Japan factory and then in the future from a Panasonic owned US factory, that's going to be huge for producing enough batteries for Tesla to meet their goals. I also found it really interesting that Panasonic is looking at factory locations in Oklahoma and Kansas potentially. Obviously, that's much closer to the Texas factory, Gigafactory Texas, than, say, Gigafactory Nevada. And this also makes it appear like Tesla and Panasonic don't have any plans to um, add 4680 battery production, at least for now, from what I can tell, to their Gigafactory in Nevada. And apparently, that factory will continue to produce 2170 cells for the foreseeable future. Now, when it comes to the exact makeup of these 4680 batteries that will be made by Panasonic, I'm not 100% sure that they'll be identical to Tesla's 4680 battery cells. It may have slightly different chemistry in the cathode or maybe the anode chemistry. Um, however, I am pretty certain that it has to be a tabless battery. So they'll probably use Tesla's tabless battery technology, but the actual chemistry of the battery cell itself might vary slightly from what Tesla is making in-house. 
Now, as a reminder, these Panasonic made 4680 battery cells are going to be in addition to the in-house 4680 battery cells that Tesla is producing now and that they plan to produce in the future. When it comes to Tesla's current 4680 battery production capacity, they have a pilot line at their Fremont, California factory, which when operating at its full potential should be able to produce somewhere around 10 gigawatt hours of batteries per year. Tesla has also installed quite a bit of 4680 battery manufacturing equipment at their Gigafactory Texas facility and battery production appears to have started there. For reference, at Tesla's recent Cyber Rodeo event at Gigafactory Texas, on one of the displays, the following was stated. Made at Gigafactory Texas, our new tabless 4680 cell lowers the cost per kilowatt hour. We have everything we need under one roof to produce and assemble the first high volume structural battery pack using our fully integrated process. For my research, it appears like Tesla is going to be aiming for somewhere around 100 gigawatt hours of battery production from Gigafactory Texas per year once that ramps up with the initial equipment that they've installed. And obviously that could be, uh, that could increase in the future, but that seems to be what they plan for right now as they ramp up. In addition to 4680 battery production at Fremont and uh, Giga Texas, Giga Berlin will also in the future produce 4680 battery cells as well. In fact, I found some articles that mentioned that at Gigafactory Berlin, they also plan to produce initially as they ramp up, once they get to that full production, they plan to ramp up to around 100 gigawatt hours of batteries per year there as well. And that could even be moved to around 200 gigawatt hours of batteries per year in the future. Now, as I mentioned earlier, Tesla is going to need a lot of battery cells to meet their future goals. After all, they are aiming for around 20 million vehicles being manufactured per year by 2030. At least that's what they're aspiring to. They're not promising that, but they're aspiring to that. And that's going to take a lot of battery cells. If Gigafactory Texas and Gigafactory Berlin are each able to produce 100 gigawatt hours of batteries in the somewhat near future, and if Tesla's Fremont factory is able to produce 10 gigawatt hours of batteries, and with Gigafactory Nevada producing somewhere around 39 gigawatt hours of batteries, that all adds up to around 249 gigawatt hours of batteries being produced directly by Tesla each year. Of course, once again, not including the batteries they purchase from other battery manufacturers. And if you take a look at, for instance, the Model Y, which has the long range all wheel drive Model Y and the performance Model Y have approximately an 82 kilowatt hour battery pack. If you are able to produce, if Tesla is able to produce around 249 gigawatt hours of batteries per year, that would, for instance, allow them to build somewhere over 3 million long range all wheel drive Model Ys. That gives them a good amount of batteries to expand in the future. But of course, Tesla is not going to stop at producing 3 million vehicles because they're aspiring to produce around 20 million vehicles per year by 2030. And according to my calculations, once again, if you have an 82 kilowatt hour battery pack, you would need approximately 1.64 terawatt hours of batteries to produce 20 million Model Ys with 82 kilowatt hour battery packs. And keep in mind that my estimates there are just for 82 kilowatt hour battery packs. There are going to be a lot of cyber trucks being sold and semi trucks being sold with much larger battery packs. And Tesla also needs battery cells for the energy side of their business as well. This is why Tesla, as was talked about at battery day, Tesla plans to produce somewhere around three terawatt hours of batteries by 2030. Now, when it comes to why these 4680 batteries are a big deal, I've done several videos in the past diving into very specifics and uh, the details about these 4680 batteries from Tesla. I'm not gonna rehash that again here. I will put a link to several videos, including this one in the video description if you wanna watch that and learn more about the details. But just in a real quick one sentence way, once these 4680 batteries do reach full mass production, these batteries should be able to be produced by Tesla for a lower cost per kilowatt hour than their current 2170 battery cells. And the technology underlying these 4680 battery cells should allow Tesla to manufacture more of these in a smaller footprint. Now, beyond just the 4680 battery cell format being a big deal, it's actually a really big deal that Panasonic is really close, apparently, to producing, mass producing these battery cells, these 4680 battery cells for Tesla as well in the somewhat 
near future because this gives me a lot of hope that Tesla's production in the future hopefully will not be limited by battery supply. With all the batteries that we've talked about that they plan to do, to build in-house, uh, somewhere around three terawatt hours per year by 2030 as Tesla is aiming for, plus what Panasonic's going to be able to produce at their US factories that we mentioned that they plan to build in the future, plus whatever other batteries they purchase from CATL, LG Chem, or other future battery suppliers, this is going to give Tesla a lot of battery supply, and it gives them a lot of hope that they will be able to meet this 20 million vehicles sold per year by 2030. Let me know what you think about all this in the comments section below, and also thank you for watching this video all the way through to the end. If you have not already subscribed to this channel, please consider subscribing. And if you did enjoy the video, please consider clicking that like button. I do wanna take a moment to thank the Patreon supporters who support me every month and help make this content possible. A special thank you to my performance supporters and also the other supporters listed on the screen. If you'd like to find out more about the Patreon community I've set up, I'll put a link in the video description. Thank you so much.